My name is Mark Mandelowitz. I'm from Sun System Technologies, and I'm going to show you how to wire up an optimizer. Um, on each optimizer, you have a positive side and a negative side. So the first thing I'm going to do is the positive side. I'm going to take a pair of strippers, and I'm going to strip this wire back. Take the measurement of the wire, make sure that it's the right length, going from the bottom up to the, the cutout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a positive pin. I'm going to place the positive pin in the gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crimp the wire, the positive wire, into the pin. Then I'm going to take a positive connector, the large gland connector. There's two types of glands. There's a small gland and a large gland. The large gland goes on the, lo lo the longer leads of the optimizer. So I'm going to take the positive and I'm going to put it over the crimp until it clicks. The positive is done. Then I'm going to take the negative wire. I'm going to strip this back. Make sure my length is the right size on the wire. Then I'm going to take a negative crimp. I'm going to place this in the gun. And I'm going to crimp the negative side of the optimizer. Always make sure when you pull it out, make sure there's no frays coming out of the crimp. You don't want the wire sticking up into the barrel. You want a nice tight connection. Just give a little wiggle on here. Then you're going to take another large gland, which is, you can tell the difference between the large gland and the small gland. Put the large gland on until it clicks. Then once you got the, the, the positive and negative done, you take your crimp tool. Crimp tool is set at 2.25. And what you want to do is you want to tighten this up until you hear it click. Same thing, deposit. Tighten this up. The clicks. Now, on the optimizer, you got smaller leads. One says positive and one says negative. A lot of guys are having problems where they put a positive one on the positive and a negative crimp on the negative. This is not the case. You have to reverse them. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to strip the wire. Check the wire. Make sure it's the right length. So the one that's marked positive actually your negative so the negative pin you want to crimp that on there you need all these things bro okay again positive negative crimp and take a positive pin Put that on the other end. Then just check it, make sure no wires are sticking through. Then you want to take the smaller gland, take your negative, and put it on your negative until it clicks. Positive. Put it on the positive. And the same thing, put it on. Tighten it up. Fill the clicks. Same here. Then I usually just double check. Make sure it's wired right. Check 
both of the glands on here. Make sure that they're not stripped out. Make sure the wires don't pull out. Give a little tug on them. And that gives your part one of how to wire up an optimizer. In the next video, I'll show you how to install an optimizer on a panel and test it. Good morning. My name is Mark Vandelowitz from Sun System Technologies. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to install new optimizers on the modules. These modules I've already taken down off the roof. This is the last one that I have to rebuild. So basically, I'm going to take the old optimizer off. This old optimizer and these panel leads, the module leads, came with these old Infinol connectors on here. We're redoing the panels and putting new M4 connectors on. So I'm going to show you how to install the Opto and also how to test it. So before I hand it back up on the roof, it'll be all tested, ready to go. So the first things I did on the panel, you have two leads coming off the panel. You have a negative on your left and a positive on your right. If you notice on the panel, there's a negative and then there's a positive. So what I did was I took the wires, stripped them, and I put the negative pin on the left hand side and the positive on the right. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the negative M4 connector, push it until it clicks, and then I'm going to take the positive M4 connector. Now remember this is the large gland I'm using. The small glands are only used on the small side of the optimizers. Once it's all clicked, what I'll do is I'll take my torque wrench and I'll torque these down to 2.5 which the torque wrench is already set at until it clicks then I'll check it just make sure it's not cross threaded make sure the, the back isn't blown out the gasket give a little tug make sure it's in there good check the inside make sure there's no obstructions same thing on here same thing on your positive. When you're doing this, you do not want to turn the torque wrench because the whole wire is going to turn. You just want to turn your wrench pot. Okay, so next, we have the new optimizer, which I redid. And everything is all checked out. I checked the, the positive and the negative. Just remember, everything's reversed on the small leads. Your negative that's marked here is always your positive coming out, vice versa. On the other leads, you got positive and negative. These stay the same. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, it's already been scanned and labeled number 26. You can see where the old optimizer was. I just cleaned it off. And I bend the optimizer in a little bit so it's when they're carrying up on the roof or well, they don't fall off. And then I just check it, make sure. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this optimizer. But what I usually do, so the wires aren't hanging on the roof, and I get them all clipped up, is I'll take the wires like this, and I'll bring them down, and I'll plug it in. Next thing, before I clip it up, I want to test it. So I have my meter here, and I'm looking for anything 0.8 or above. Anything below that, the optimizer, I throw out. It's junk. You, so a good reading would be a 0.9 or a 1 on DC. So what I do is I take the negative part of my tester, and I put it in the negative hole, and then I take the positive and I put it in the positive and I just kind of hold them there. And as you look on the meter, I'm getting 0 0.9. So that tells me that the optimizer is good, is functional. So once I get that all done, I'll go back and I'll take these wires nicey nice and I'll clip the wires on with DC clips. Make sure everything's tucked in nicey nice. So it clicks, nothing will hang on the roof. And it doesn't matter how many clips you use, it's better to use 
as much clips as you can to keep the wires from sagging. And plus, when Tesla comes in specs, they usually look to make sure nothing's touching on the roof. What I do is I take another clip, clip the bottom, and then, just for shits and giggles, I'll take another clip and I'll put it in the middle. It's easier to clip it now than have to do it on the roof. So that's it. And then I'll just take these, I'll wind them up so the guys can carry them back on the roof. And that's how to install an optimizer on a panel.